Moving to a new major version of your operating system used to be a daunting task. It's usually reserved for costly upgrades tied to the hardware refresh lifecycle. However, the idea of in-place upgrades should be proudly displayed in your sysadmin tool belt. Hi there. My name is Eric the IT Guy Hendricks for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and in this tech tip, we're going to take a look at the Leap pre-upgrade analysis utility. We all know how exhausting and time-consuming a rip-and-replace upgrade can be. The hardware acquisition times alone can put a project behind on time and budget. However, the process isn't all that easier with virtual machines or cloud images unless your application was built specifically with cloud-native principles in mind. Consider for a moment. Being able to take your applications, your data, your configurations, and all your users to the latest version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux without having to navigate all the problems I just mentioned. You can work with Red Hat Consulting and open issues with the Red Hat support team, enjoy a shorter maintenance window, and most importantly, preserve all of your workloads. Our in-place upgrade utility is called Leap. It was introduced in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and has been present with RHEL 8 and 9 and has even planned to be the upgrade tool of choice for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 upon its release in 2025. Our engineers have been working with the upstream community to improve Leap. In particular, we've been adding the ability to choose your own destination, the ability to upgrade between multiple minor release versions. You can pick the latest minor release, or you can choose any supported EUS or extended update support release. Now, you may be wondering, Am I able to upgrade from RHEL 7 directly to RHEL 9? Well, the short answer is no. The longer answer, in order to perform an in-place upgrade from RHEL 7 to RHEL 9, you first must upgrade to RHEL 8. This isn't as much of a technical limitation as it is a recommended practice. By having to pause at RHEL 8, this gives you and your application teams the opportunity to validate your workloads. Make sure they still respond as expected, especially considering a technology shift as drastic as a major upgrade. Once the system has been validated, there's absolutely nothing stopping a server from being upgraded to RHEL 9, even in the same maintenance window. We've discussed in-place upgrades in previous videos, but one topic we didn't dive into is what exactly happens before the upgrade. That is where the pre-upgrade analysis tool comes in. If you're a satellite user, you'll be able to execute the leap process on any number of hosts all at once and even review the pre-upgrade analysis report well in advance. If you want to learn more about our satellite use case, check out the white paper on satellite and leap upgrades. You can find the link in the video notes below. For today's demo, however, I'm going to take you on a quick look at Red Hat Insights tasks. No matter where your servers are deployed, as long as they're connected to Insights, we can run an analysis on it. So let's take a look. What you are seeing is the Red Hat Insights system page for a vanilla RHEL 8.9 virtual machine. Since installing this VM from scratch, I've registered it with RHC, Red Hat Connector, updated all the packages, and rebooted. In the operating system box on the right, we can confirm the version information. While we are using RHEL 8 today, it is worth mentioning that this process works for RHEL 7.9 as well. Our goal is to use Red Hat Insights to perform a pre-upgrade analysis followed by an upgrade. To do so, we'll want to confirm that RHC has access to run on our host. If you scroll down to the system status box, we can see that our state is active and RHC is connected. So let's go. Click on the Automation Toolkit, Tasks, and we'll want to start with the RHEL pre-upgrade analysis utility. Click Run Task. Select the checkbox for one of our hosts and click Execute Task. In this example, we're only performing this analysis on one system. But if you have dozens or hundreds or thousands of systems, Red Hat Insights can help you through the same process. With our task running, we can click View Progress, where we can wait for the results from the Leap Analyzer. This can take a while depending on the number of installed packages, running processes, and available resources. But with a little movie magic, we'll have our results back right now. Now, these results may seem worrisome, but think about it this way. We are about ready to execute a full major version upgrade. That is no small task, from kernel to drivers, libraries, and supporting packages. The Leap Analyzer is trained to err on the side of caution. I mean, wouldn't you? 
We've got four inhibitors, which means until we fix these problems, the upgrade process will not start. So let's drill down into our RHEL system and see what the issues are. The first two issues refer to a change made in RHEL 9's SSH configuration. Root login is disabled by default in RHEL 9, and our 8.x system needs to be adjusted accordingly. Next is an urgent notice about GRUB2 being upgraded during the process. While this is not an inhibitor, it is critical to keep that in mind as we launch the upgrade process itself. The fourth line refers to checking devices utilized with VDO. In our demo's case, I am certain there are no VDO devices configured, so we'll be able to skip those checks. The last inhibitor is that zone drifting is no longer supported in RHEL 9's firewall daemon. So prior to the upgrade, we'll need to adjust that setting as well. The remaining items or FYIs are non-destructive changes that Leap will make during the upgrade. So let's jump over to a terminal on our RHEL 8 box and fix these issues. One of the amazing parts about Red Hat Insights is that many of its messages, there's a remediation instruction or even a command you're able to copy and paste. For instance, RHEL 9 expects root to not be able to log in via SSH. So in the Etsy SSH SSHD config file, there's a config called permit root login. We can use the set command to modify that line from a yes to a no. One inhibitor down. The next item was the VDO check. Here's a situation where Insights shows us a command where we need to run. We'll use the leap answer command and specify the VDO section. We'll mark that check to true. The last inhibitor, zone drifting, can be fixed with another set command. Let's change zone drifting from yes to no. That's it. Let's jump back into Insights and rerun our analysis task. Add some post-editing magic, and we see that we have eight potential problems. None of these will break our upgrade, so let's head back to our server and run the upgrade itself. As a happy side effect of our pre-conversion analysis, Insights already installed the needed packages and libraries for our upgrade to RHEL 9. Now we are ready to go. Let's run the leap command specifying the upgrade action with a reboot argument. Once the upgrade is in place, the server will automatically reboot. Once again, we'll jump into our time machine and jump ahead to the completion of the upgrade. Since we saw it last, our system has rebooted twice. Once to put all the new packages in place and a second to relabel all the SE Linux contexts. Log in with a regular user and cat the Etsy Red Hat release file. Sure enough, we are running RHEL 9.3. Anybody else feel like there should be some ASCII art or graffiti that pops up in your terminal after a successful upgrade? If you want to learn more about useful utilities and Linux practices, head on over to our YouTube channel. We have short tech tip videos just like this, as well as several live streams. You can catch me live every other Wednesday for Red Hat Enterprise Linux Presents. We take 60 minutes to interview guests from all over the industry. We talk about a tool, a product, or even a day in the life of a technologist. Our shows are packed with interesting conversations, live demos, and we answer your questions on air. If you want to get deeper into the weeds, you can catch us every Friday on Into the Terminal. We dive into topics from Linux basics to containers to security vulnerabilities. We don't spend a lot of time chatting. We dive head first, if you'll pardon the pun, into the terminal. Be sure to subscribe so you know whenever we publish new content, be sure to like this video. And if you don't mind, Leave your questions or future tech tip ideas in the comments below. On behalf of all of us on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux team, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>